go ahead and grab three of these five gallon paint stir sticks. I get these from Home Depot. So you do want a total of nine of these paint stir sticks. Go ahead and align them right next to each other. And then I'm using some one gallon paint stir sticks to hold these together. I'm just using a mixture of some Dollar Tree Fix All Adhesive Glue and a hot glue. Then I'm just going over the sticks with some brown acrylic paint, just using a baby wipe to apply that on. Once that is dry, it's going to leave you with this wood stained finish without using any harsh chemicals that are inside of wood stain. Then I'm using this Folk Art Crackle. If you don't have this, you could definitely use just some school glue and it will create the same effect. I allowed that crackle to completely dry, then went over everything with some Waverly chalk paint in the color plaster. Just make sure that you don't go over the same spot too many times, otherwise the crackle will not work as well. Once that's covered, allow that to dry, and again, it leaves you with this gorgeous crackle look. I then got this toy shovel from Dollar Tree, just started painting the green parts with some Waverly chalk paint in the color ink. This only took one coat. Once you have that covered, allow that to dry. Then I'm gonna go in with some Mod Podge and ground cinnamon, applying that Mod Podge onto the green part of that shovel again. And before that Mod Podge dries, just go over it with that ground cinnamon. Take off any excess, make sure you save that excess as long as you are not using this ground cinnamon in your kitchen. And I did both sides of that shovel. And you wanna allow that to completely dry. Once that's dry, go over it with another coat of Mod Podge to seal and protect that cinnamon. And this leaves you with a nice rusty looking shovel. It's super cute. And then along the handle all i did was just wrap around some jute string just hot gluing it every now and then until it is completely covered and then i'm using four more of these one gallon paint stir sticks again you could get these at home depot as well and i'm just painting them using that brown acrylic paint using a baby wipe to apply that paint on and let that dry and then i'll be using this design by jennifer Pugh. You could get this off of her Etsy shop. Found a good placement for that on my sign. Applied a generous but even amount of Mod Podge. Placed the design right on top, smoothed it out, sanded off any excess if you have any kind of hanging off, and then went over it again with another coat of Mod Podge to seal and protect that design. And then using those one gallon paint stir sticks, I'm just going to create a frame around the design. So again, just use the mixture of that hot glue and adhesive glue and just allow everything to dry. Then found a good placement for my shovel on the right side of my sign. I had to drill some holes to be able to add a zip tie to hold everything together. So just put that right on. Then I grabbed some of these wooden boxes from Dollar Tree, painted those brown and just sanded them to distress them. Use the same mixture of those two glues and place that on the bottom left side of the sign. Made this bow using ribbon I got from Hobby Lobby, glued that onto the shovel added some sunflowers and this cute beehive that I made and there you go guys I think this is just a really cute kind of farmhouse decor if you love bees and honeys and sunflowers this is great for you I hope it inspires you to create your own in your own special way if it did please be sure to sprinkle the love thank you so much and I hope y'all have a good rest of your day thanks bye